I guess it's this lady over here with the crutches and the doozy booty. was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Oh. Sunas, lakes. <laughs> Seems nice. <laughs> Are you caked up? Oh my god, damn. Hold on, let me back up. Let me see that thing. Let me see that thing, boy. God damn. Boy, got that Duker Deluxe? You walk around with all this ass. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Vash. What's up? How's you how's it doing? How you going? How you how you doing? How you go I don't know what I'm talking about. How you, it's one in the morning, okay? How are you guys? Welcome back to Alan Wake. It's time to get back into this bad boy in this in this Twin Peaks. Or as you call it, Twin Cheeks. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. I'm doing all right. I'm chilling. I'm going on a trip this weekend. So I got to make sure I uh, have something ready for you guys over the weekend. Um, just you know, take a little break. Get out of the house. I'm tired of melting in this seat. Have you ever heard oh, of shit, the that's of the loud. tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. Really? Hmm. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Let's go ahead and profile him and just know shit we're not supposed to know. Let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? Magic. The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe. The dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Where's he hiding him? In his ass? Let's see Scratch. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face, the dark place in your place, scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here, in Washington. He's hunting Wake. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's click some more. This is this is getting spicy. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Here's my question that I don't want you to answer. So don't answer this. So like Mr. Scratch, we all know is like Wake's clone, right? Not clone, but you know, the, the alt, alt, it's, it's Naga. Wake, you know, like Nega Scott, like negative Alan Wake. But like, is he like a spirit or is he like a real ass dude walking around? That's what I, that's what, yeah, but I don't know. I don't want you me, I don't want you to answer that because you probably be like, oh, by the way, and just spoil the shit out of it. Just, it's, it's just a question that I ask myself. You know what I mean? Uh, do we have upgrades? Not enough. You know what I mean? It's just those questions that you're like, oh, I wonder this, I wonder that. Just don't, don't tell me. Shh. Quiet, you. Should we check out the case board? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Everything is so gold. Murder at cult, cult of the Tree? Alan Wake interview. Ooh, something's Wake in my eye. just gave us a lot of information. Oh, man. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. All right, let's do it. There's something in my eyes. Oh, my God, boys. I'm going blind. Oh. What is it? It's like a hair or something. I'm going blind. Okay, we're here. <sighs> Can't say I understand this, but if Wake's telling the truth and his magic light switch is the most tangled lead, yo, Game Awards is next week. What are you guys excited to look for? Like, what do you think's gonna happen? You know what I hope happens? I hope we get... I hope we get a date for Metal Slug Tactics because holy shit, man. It was supposed to come out last year and they're like, we'll see you in 2023 and they've been dead silent the whole time. 
Dead silent. What do we got for the murder at Colgen Lake? Oh, the case is closed? Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Her voice sounds very sizzly. Have you guys noticed that? I think it's just because she's in the mind place. Her voice is very like, like what? You know, her voice is very sizzly. I think that's just the the mind, the mind, whatever the fuck we're at right now. Okay, uh, we got more cult of the tree. We do. Oh, we do. Wait, let me follow her. to have the clicker it up there. I thought we placed this shit. Hold on. Did we place this? Maybe. Here, put that shit right there. No. How do I zoom out again? It's not this. Which case is this? Oh, this is the cult. Who's involved? Alan Wake. You lying bitch. Writing part of the ritual? Is that Alan Wake? Nope. Why is it not going to victim become a monster? Why? The cult's goal? Wake the cult before finally scratch you out with a clicker after all. Psychology? Nope. I'm just sticking on all of them. Fuck it. It's not symbols. Who's involved? No. Nope. That's not right. There we go. Got it. I figured it out. <laughs> I got it. Ha <laughs> ha. I got it. Booyah. The story. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Isn't that a spooky Why saga? A romance? Oh, we got a whole bunch of shit. The Dark Place. Oh, yeah, the overlap. That's with the heart. That, that goes here, too. How to enter. Oh, this is all old shit. We did this already. What the? What the hell? Wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. That would be the dark place. Uh, there's an entity inside a dark place called the Dark Presence. Wake scrap. Oh, that's the same shit. <clears throat> What does that say? Wake said scratch and the dark presence are interchangeable, so it's the same thing. Flash die seems to weaken the taken. That would be how does story change reality's rules? How to enter the overlap dark place? Think saga. That's how you fight the dark present? Ah. Hmm. Damn, I don't know we had all this going on. Waking the form of Scratch Dark Person that any wake story once the world into a nightmare. That would be right here, right? The story? Nah. What do you mean? Wake the story changed our reality a bit. Yeah, it changes reality. Said so it'd be here. Fiction coming in the front of the dark place has the power to change reality. If you, what does it say? If you don't, uh, if you don't stop it, Scratch will use a story to permanently change reality at the start of Beer Fest. <sighs> Wake must get the clicker before Scratch with the story can be changed. Scratch is sent back to the dark place. And then I assume this last one. Oh, it's for later. Okay. So we can't do that one yet. All right. Damn, we did a whole last case right there. Whoop, whoop. That's how you do it, baby. Colt, Colt stashes. Found another one. Bright Falls. Or uh, here. All right, we're all caught up. You guys got it? You guys all caught up? You guys, you guys got it? You're all, you're all here. All right. Let's uh, go back into the real world. Okay, Mr. Wake. 
I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Well, wipe my ass with it. Wait, give me this shit. So you get for lying to me. Inside I know everything. Trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Ah. Oh. What's going on with the shoot his ass, huh? He drew his weapon. I mean, she drew her weapon. I'm about to bust him. I'm going to bust his ass. Let me go put this on there because I'm excited to shoot him. Trail of the cold, baby. We got to do the trailer. Where's the, that's in the, where's the clicker section? The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Trailer significant. The trailer. Who's trailer? Who's it's all trailer on the page. Could it be? The clicker. The cult. Okay. I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Oh. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. I... Hmm. See, I wonder... I don't know. I don't like being given the choice. Oh, shit. That the bucket? I don't like being given the choice, TBH. Because then I feel like I'm missing out on stuff. Like, I kind of I kind of liked it when it just swapped around. But you we already played as Alan Privy. Let's play as Saga. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Hmm. Thank you for your cooperation. Maybe we could do a session as Saga and then a session as Alan. Like, I'll do Saga now and then Alan and Saga then Alan and kind of swap in between unless, like, some juicy shit is happening and we don't want, you know, we want to keep going. Maybe we I do that. I feel bad for these guys. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, no, that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. All right. Let me, uh... Oops. How do I get back? I forgot how to get, oh my God. How do I get, there we go. I was, I pressed that button, it didn't work. Okay, uh, cause we have one more case thing for the cult of the tree with Alan Wake being, uh, he remembers writing the pages while in the dark place. So that would be, uh, who's involved? Nope. No. There we go. Wiggs origin the page in the cold connections with Cole's working for scratch. Hi, welcome. Okay. Past favorite deer You are stuff. so bald. A yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. You know, they got Tabasco on the table? What? What y'all cooking? This man jamming to. The music in his head. There probably is music playing in here, but since we have the copyrighted oh, music turned off, so we don't get in trouble. Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. Got coffee for all ages? So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin. Yo, dude, dude, dude. 
these 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 cabins look exactly like the cabins from uh from Twin Peaks. That's dark as fuck up here. They're like identical. That shit's crazy. <laughs> it's it literally looks just like the cabins from Twin Peaks. Why? Y'all turn some lights on? What is this? Oh, like the room is talking about the town car around. Okay. Opening. We can get in through over here. Bust through the wall. Somebody else is being nosy. Tan they want to come. I can't. I can tell. Not that, like this trip is helping. Without getting out of the city to inspire me, Bart Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. And you find something. I'm tired of writing one act plays about how shitty the world is. I thought scathing social commentary would make me like a real artist, but I don't know. Something weird. I want to write something weird. Something really out there. Something authentic. But what? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It was weird, though. Sitting here in the hotel room, just pieces starting to fall together. An idea for a new play, a space cult. Burning down the galaxy and some has got to search for TBD. Okay. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars. Until his destiny puts him straight in the cult's path. All black cast, a musical, a rock opera. Okay. That's some good shit. This is another page. Oh shit, we found it. What is this? Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Yo, Ed got arrested? <laughs> oh, man. Ed got arrested in the... In the, uh... Out in the woods? Oh, shit, here's part two? I gotta know what happened. Let's read it. Shit. Oh no. How do I bring it back up again? Where is it? Manuscript pages. Unread. Oh my god, dude, I'm messing up. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. It's too late for that. He got arrested in the woods <laughs> by the wood police. <laughs> Let's read the trailer. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. 
She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air. But she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Okay. Shouted. You know what she should have did? She, she pulled her weapon and shot his ass. The end. Dude, what is this radio playing? That's just so loud. I guess that's what that dude's dancing to. All right, let's let's go to the trailer. That my car? Yep. Go to the watery. Let me look around for a second. It's flooded over here. Going for a bit of a splash. Yeah, what y'all been doing lately? I've been playing Super Mario RPG on stream. I like it. That's really good. That game's got good writing. It's pretty. It's pretty gosh darn good, man. I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty. Pretty awesome. I never played the original, so it's all brand new to me. I didn't really get into like RPGs and stuff until much, much later in life. I think my first ever JRPG I ever played was like Final Fantasy VIII when I was a little kid, and I hated. It. I thought it was balls. So, um, because you couldn't, you know, walk around and hit stuff or shoot things. You had the. It was all turn based, and I thought it was boo boo. You know, and I was like eight years old or whatever, nine, I don't know, ten. A little kid. Let's go to the watchery. I hope it's not dark there. Because that'll be too LS spooky. So yeah. Sumo RPG is pretty fun. I like it quite a bit. It's pretty awesome. I would highly recommend it. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. They should have just brought him and had him sit in the car. Because Saga's about to go the and shoot something. In a trailer somewhere in Watery. Yeah, it says that she's gonna see a cult. Around. She's gonna, she's gonna, the local girl. She's gonna pull her gun out and chase him into the woods. Like, that's what the page says. Why didn't they just bring, you know, I was about to call him Alex Mercer. This is the wrong video game. Why didn't they bring that guy and then have Wake be in the trunk? What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? Stripper. I bet it wasn't dock worker. Mad, the star that. of Magic Mike. But idle hands are the devil's playground. The All right, let's... flooding is even worse here. Is it? More like underwatery. It's I'll so have funny. I'll tell Casey that one later. Hilarious. Mayor Seta will stand up for justice. Okay. Let's see what y'all doing up in here. Those cookies? Potatoes? The fuck is this? Look, hold on. Before before we go in there, let me let me make sure we have the the Oh. Do I have the music? I have the music turned off, don't I? Like the I have the nudity sensor shut off. Is there like a audio thing? I don't know, man. I just don't want to go in there and get and just I don't know. I thought I had it turned off. <sighs> All right, let's go in. <laughs> Yo, it's the, it's the janitor. He, he's singing. Okay, then. Catchy tune. Yeah, I apologize in advance if this gets tagged and you can't hear anything. 
that you probably can't even hear me telling you that you can't hear anything, but sadly that's just how it would be on, the, on YouTube. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Do you not know where I should... in the middle of a show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. He's going in, though. Woo! You go, bro. Where are your socks at? Them ankles is looking dry. God damn. He's really into it. He's going in. There's a lot of stuff I don't want to read. What is this? Nothing? Art, the dark doppelganger in the art life, Thomas Zane. Ah. Oh, the upside down uh, horseshoe. With the uh, the luck pouring out, and this is where we would swap, you know, switch to reality. So, oh, switch reality. Let's say switch to reality. That is locked. Okay, there's nothing in here. Let's uh, let's go. He's in there just singing his ass off. At least we got a map. All right, we got to find a trailer. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? He's like, Ooh, you dirty girl. Yeah, I gotta fix your hole for you. Woo woo. I'm gonna get it. Is it marked on the map? That's not the right button. There we go. Coffee World. Where is there? There's a Sumi Hall. My car. Conversation. New choices and investigation. Let's go see what this conversation is about. I don't know. Uh, what is it? Directly to the left. So I guess it's this dude. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah. Uh. Long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Why are you talking to me like I know you? I don't know who you are. What the shit? Don't talk to me like I know you. I don't know you. Alright, well. There's an investigation directly to our left. I guess it's this lady over here. With the crutches. And the dookie booty. was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Oh. Sunas, lakes. <laughs> Seems nice. Are you caked up? Oh, we got damn. Hold on. Let me back up. Let me see that thing. Let me see that thing, boy. God damn. Boy, got that Duker Deluxe? You walk around with all this ass. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. 
Uh, the steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. Uh, I'm just waiting for Artie to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. What? For real? Really? Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Hell yeah. Smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Oh. I think you can kung fu him with the crutches. I believe in you. Got them glutes, man. You can run. Just believe in yourself. So what's the sauna? Like... A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. I mean, I know what a sauna is, but like these dudes are just standing out here like in the woods and shit. Like, is it this building? Why is everybody out here naked? Is this the sauna? You know, just sit here at the table and... radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. This is the sauna, I guess. That's weird. I'm trying. You can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was weird. Huh. Yeah, every time I got close to it, it would the little icon to open, it would disappear. Yeah, there really isn't shit up in here. Oh. Hot. So this is it. Okay. Y'all come in here and get a little bit of freaky deaky, and then you go outside and you cool down. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I thought you guys were just sitting there soaking your feet in, like, the toasty, like, fucking lake water or some shit. All right, I feel you, I feel you. Oh, I guess I can't go that way. Let me look at my map. Still some we check is like right here. All right, let's go investigate on what that is. Hello. You look shady as fuck. You're like the copiest looking motherfucker I've, I've ever seen here. Are you sure you're not a cop? Because I'm a cop. FBI agent to be exact. You you are the hundred percent. Hello, fellow cops. I can smell my own kind. I know it's you. I can smell it. I can smell the bacon. Whatever I'm looking for is directly to my left right here. Directly behind me? What is it? Oh, the sign. Okay, it's the sign. A trailer park. Ilmo Coskella. We know this shit already. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. I know. We've we've done this. How do we find him? He said that he saw them over by the bridge, right? So I'm assuming, you know, this is a bridge, so let's head that way. Let's see if I can talk to this guy. Never mind, he's sipping his shit. Let's go. Maybe he's up here. Hey, Saga! Over here! Hi. Hey, Ilmo. Oh, yeah, you're How the guys that are on TV the all the time. Go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. Yeah, that's what the fuck. This keeps happening. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, we did meet him earlier in Cauldron Lake, but... Are you familiar with the Cauldron Lake? Yeah, y'all talking like we boys. Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but... Uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well... We're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. 
As normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? What the fuck are you guys talking about? I don't live here. This is dirty and it stinks. Why would I live here? Let me check this. Let me, let me look at my let me look at my notes in my mind. Y'all y'all thinking I'm crazy. Let me see these cases. No, hell no. I don't live here. Oh, I can't imagine you came back. We found another Alex Casey lunchbox? When did we find this? Yeah, where did we find this one? There, there we go. Let's see the story. That's for later. Can't mess with that yet. Uh, fact versus fiction. There Wait, we go. Says the story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Mmm. I feel you. I see what you mean. Okay. So El uh, Elmo owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived, calls me his funniest resident. <sighs> Yeah, I guess apparently I live in water. Finally, some appreciated my jokes too. What kind of life that I live here? Did you mean Mr. Scratch wrote that in there? Rose recognized me in the diner, and Brightfall says I moved away after Logan died. But we just finished talking to Logan on the phone before. I've never met a little girl named Logan before. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, Bloom. There's a trailer park nearby called Watery Lighthouse Trailer. There we go. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. No shit. All right. I feel you though. This is a. Uh, this could be Mr. Scratch is doing. Let me take a sip of some agua real quick. Hmm. That's some freaky deaky shit. So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Damn, man, y'all do everything. So. Your commercials. They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Yeah, if I'm really I'm that bored, something. sure. I should try profiling. Should I? All right. Let's try profiling. Let's go ahead and make up some shit that's real. Let's do it. Let's profile the co the Kosakalas, Kos co the the, the Dosakis. Let's profile them. Urban legend. Talking about the urban legend of the deer people. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Of course you do, because people are getting fucking murdered out in the woods! Oh, it's an urban legend, as we found... What's his name? Nightingale's naked dead ass in the... <laughs> in the forest! Ilmo made it sound like I 
lived here. Does he really believe that? Light's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Two questions. Don't answer them. <laughs> Two questions, but don't answer. Okay. So, never mind. I was going to say, like, the pages don't affect her, right? Like, how does she know that the pages aren't affecting her? That's what we're trying to figure out, that, like, what's real and what ain't. Like, well, I, mean, I don't know, dude. Fuck it. Let's, uh, I was going to use the loop here on the trailer here. I remember the community. Oh, yeah. Got it. He really did it. He really knows. All right. We have profiled. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Wait, what? I gotta walk? Through these woods? <sighs> you motherfucker. Spare keys or trailer. Yeah. Alright. The Coscellas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Yeah, I was just I was literally just asking that. Okay. He thinks I own the trailer weird that my trailer at Coffee World. All right. I just like the spare key is at Coffee World. I guess I'll, I'll walk. The diner. He said no, just. The they all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed oh, to believe the story. Coffee World. Is it spreading? That's in the There's trailer. Need to get across the river. Oh, I have to cross the river first and then go, right? Let's try. I don't think I can, right? Yeah, you crossed. Flooding the... did this. Okay, maybe I can. Let's just go that way. Yo, they answer the phone yet? Tell them they better have that shit ready because I don't have to shoot nobody. I'll do it. Trust me, I'll do it. I'll shoot the shit out of somebody. Yo, this is so creepy, dude. What are we doing over? What the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, you can go to Coffee World. You gonna get your trailer? Yeah, just go out in the woods and go die. My pleasure. Sounds like a great fucking plan. Absolute delicious plan. I love getting murdered out in the woods. Favorite pastime. Good thing I got a gun. Cause boy, am I ready. What was that? Excuse me, I am armed. I will shoot you. Oh shit, you pulled the gun back out. Dude, this is broad fucking daylight. Ah! This is broad daylight, dude. This is broad daylight. It's like what? 3 p.m.? Fuck! You just throw a fucking axe at me? You just throw a fucking axe at me? No, come here. You're gonna die. Where are you at? Come here. FBI, Speedy Gonzalez, slow down. Where you at? I got bullets. Can't re outrun my bullets. Come on, bitch. I got you. Nice. Did I dodge it? No, I took damage. I pressed it way too early. All right, bitch ass. Where you at? Broad daily. Dude, I'm getting jumped in broad daily. You split in the two? Oh my, what the fuck is this, dude? You feel it yet, Mr. Krabs? Get 
God damn. People turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Both. Dude, let me look at this map. Where the fuck am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Coffee World is way over here. Oh my god. The slow roaster. The percolator. The espresso express. I hate it. All right. I think we do have to go this way. Because if I check my map, this is the way I was. Yeah, we do have to go all the way around. Oh, shit. All right. But I think if we go this way, it's a dead end. Yeah. Let's go this way. It's a dead end. There might be something down there. Like a big old bowl of nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a uh, perk thing. Where we gotta mess with like the dolls There's and shit. A rhyme over here. Let's see. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to take to make it out alive. Okay. Uh, we need three dolls. Four dolls? Let's see. Uh, deer... Moose. Is that it? I think that's all I see. Yeah, I don't see any other dolls around. Just those two. Alright, let's try. Okay, what's the story again? Gentle beast with a beautiful crown. That's a moose. Or a deer. Runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees and make it out alive. Uh, what is this? What is this right here? Moose. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. What did I... What did... What do you mean, oh shit? What happened? What'd I do? What happened? What happened? Do we summon a moose? What did I do? <laughs> what, did, what the fuck did I do, man? Did I do it right? I don't know. I put it down. Usually, like, after you solve it, there's, like, some stuff around, right? I don't know, man. Fuck it. I'm running. Are we about to see the moose? Oh, shit! There is a moose! Okay, then. Another charm. Yo, that's crazy. Good thing How do Logan I... made me this bracelet. Hold on. How do I how do I put that shit on again? I forgot. How does this work? It's this one, isn't it? Is this one we just picked up? Coffee mug charm, station of devil shatter in the process. Zach Sagar off the hammer charm. I think it's a coffee mug. Now we have two coffee mug charms. Okay. Alright, Mr. Moose. I don't like how the background was lighting up red. Look at that. Now that's spooky. I don't like that. Okay, okay. I need batteries. I only got two. This is another side area we can go to. Oh, the symbol of the, the deer people. Manuscript page, all right. See what we got. Let's see what we got cooking. The victim was one of their own. FBI That's not the right Special one. Agent Robert that ain't it. Gun That's the wrong one. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. 
or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. It was what fast? Okay, let's, let's see what this is. Another locked box. Oh, this is another stupid fucking puzzle I don't want to do. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, and we get another manuscript page. I found another dead taken over the radio tower. Look, it was bashed to death. There's a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. We got shotgun shells and... I guess. Okay, let's see. Uh, where are we going? That way, right? There's like one more area that leads off. It's probably like some more puzzle shit right here. Um, but we need to turn right. Okay. Damn. The radio, he said he found a dead body by a radio tower. Really? Nope. What does it say on it? Nothing. Alright, why can't I just shoot that off? Wouldn't that be cool? I guess this is that spot. Yeah. Okay. The key might be over here. The hunting shack, huh? Oops. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god. There's such a delay. Just press it really early. Oh, dude, that's right on it. Come, come on. <laughs> this is way harder than it looks. There we go. Ooh, pistol ammo? Sure. What am I? Am I Glockinski? Ah, okay. Let's do a quick save. Another manuscript page. Let's see what y'all was popping off over here. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! Yeah, that happened. We fucked that guy up, too. <laughs> that dude ate my ass. With a spork. Or I ate his ass. Whatever. I don't care. He's dead. That's what matters. There's okay. another cult stash. Oh, what is this? 
Hey, if, wait, is it, hey, if you take the crossbow, put it back in the stash. When you're done, PSI, change the code as ass. So that doesn't tell us anything. At all. If you take the crossbow, put it back in the stash when you're done. Yeah, I don't have any. He changed it, so I don't know. I got no clue. What is that? Some red shit over there. You hear that? It sound like ghosts are on roller coasters. You hear that shit? I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, it's a buoy. Okay, it's like a buoy thing. All right, never mind. I was I was wondering what that was. But did you hear it? You guys hear it? It sounds like ghosts on a roller coaster. See, I, wonder, I don't think there's people at... Are there people at Coffee World? He said he was going to call. So this doesn't help. He said, when you take a cross route, put it back in the stash and you're done. P.S. I changed the code as ass. But the thing is, like, I don't even know... I don't even have an idea of what the code could... Oh. Oh, this is what it is? Two. Five. Seven. Wait, let me see. Five two seven. Oh, there you go. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Too bad. What you gonna do? What you gonna fucking do about it, huh? Come and take it from me. I dare you. Now we got a, we got a crossbow. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, I can't carry any more arrows. All right, let's see. What can we do about this? I want some more arrows. Oops. How do we do it? Uh, I don't understand why we can't. Do we only have two for flare? Yeah, it looks like we can only have two. Um. What can I do? Look heavy damage anything nearby. Just just drop it. Um we can move this to quick slot to the left. Okay, and let's grab those other. Alright. You only have four arrows per slot. Whatever, we got a crossbow now, baby. Hey! Hey, nerd! Yeah, shut up. Sitting there throwing a fit. I will bust you. Walk around with a reflective ass coat. Oh, what were you? Did he have a blood beard? He's got a beard of blood. Okay. Let me check this map. Oh, do you guys want to go to the clock tower? I mean, to the radio tower? I kind of do. I kind of want to see what's up there. I'm nosy. I want to see what's up there. As soon as it starts getting freaky, I'm leaving, though. Let's see what we got. Pistol ammo? He said he found a dead body up here with, like, some knitting stuff next to it. So maybe it'll be some FBC stuff. Hey there, Pat, doing just fine. Yeah, it is another one of the puzzles. 
Let me look around real quick before I mess with the puzzle. Might be some other shit laying around. Damn, they got me. Shit up in there. What is this stuff? Huh. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Really? Oh shit, for real. That's crazy. Cold case Casey? Man, a car was in the car and a zombie had almost won, but luckily I was here. Here, sometimes I feel least expected. Talking about zombies and shit. All right, I guess it was a good idea we came up here, huh? We found a case, a lunchbox. And if we find a lunchbox, that means we can do that. Every time we find a lunchbox, we get scraps and we can use scraps to upgrade our gun. Let's see. More bullets, another headshot, land two headshot, because it's stun enemy for expanded time. Yeah, I, don't, I don't expect my aim to be that good. Let's see, the shotgun. Increased reload speed, deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blind, or knocked down. Ready for more, kill enemy, restore health. The amount of restore health depends on the strength of the enemy. If you bust his ass, what about increased reload speed? I don't think I've ever had a problem with reload speed with that weapon, to be honest. I'll, I'll save. I kind of want to do the, the kill when you get some health. It'll probably work out really well. Let's go mess with the, uh, the FBC thing over here. The investigation. Another rhyme. Let's see what this one's about. Okay. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home and the two deers cried all day. Three little deers. I wonder if that's from the, if, if like it's from the moose and deer thing we found earlier. Cause we still do have it and we use the moose one. Cause usually what you need to interact with is the round. So it might be from there. I'm just looking around to see if it's, there's some extra pieces. No. Okay. So they say, it says three little deers ventured to Rome. And, one, and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home and the two deers cried all day. Okay, so it's either the forest or the eye. Look, it's either the leave because they found a place to eat and play. So let's try uh, the deer doll. Keep trying. Nope, that did not work. All right, here, the eye. That's not right. Are you fucking kidding me? The trees? Hmm. Just stick them everywhere. Hmm. Well, there you go. Every time. Hello? Mr. Deer? Oh, shit. Here, hold on, hold on. Is there more than one? Dog, I it it bothers me that I, I can't keep ah! oh, He said eh. get you man fuck them dolls. Them again. Hold on, I'm trying not to die. Where you at bitch? There's a hundred percent more than one. Oh yeah. Oh shit! You ate that shit like it was nothing! Yeah, you ate that one too, punk. Where your homie at? Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh, you bitch. Alright, motherfucker. Okay, I see how it is. Come on. Come on. Where you at? Where you at? Ooh, my aim, dude. Oh, shit! What's the point of juking if they just still hit you? You know what I mean? Where are you at? Okay. I hate okay. these dudes. I think that's all of them. 
I do not like fighting the dogs. They're too fast and they're hard to hit. Way too fast. Give me that. Give me that deer back. So what did we get from that? The deer ran off and we got jumped. Where's where, where's the, the... Usually they give you like a, a thing. Unless we keep following the deer. Oh, here it is. Oh, because the deer got clapped. A charm. And it is the deer charm, which increased resilience against staggered or being interrupted. So you don't stagger, you don't get interrupted. Hmm. Okay. I guess we can equip that later. Keeps you from staggering, getting interrupted. Well, that was fun. Let's continue on the de to oh, say beer world. Let's let's continue on to uh, coffee world. Wherever the fuck that is. I guess we'll eventually get there. <laughs> These woods are not sexy, dude. It's dark and I'm paranoid as shit. This is not sexy. At all. I'm not feeling the sunshine. Dude, I hate how, like, it was just broad daylight. It was just perfectly fine. We started walking in this forest, and now everything's just dark and spooky and shitty. Look at my map. There's a fork. Uh, Right leads to a dead end. They both kind of lead to dead ends. We have to just keep going straight. We have to go that way. But I want to go this way real quick, because there's a dead end, which means there might be, like, some items or something. Right up here. Oh, there's eggs, so there's probably another lunchbox. Hell yeah. More of those kids' lunchboxes. Yeah. Cold case Casey. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted them online, they're getting really pretty good reviews, and I appreciate if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. that house flooded? Yeah, it is. Look. Yeah, the house is straight up just flooded. But it's weird because, like, the doors and windows are open and the lights are on. I don't think we can go that way, right? Yeah, it's it's flooded. Can't go that way. Okay. Uh, let's continue going towards where we need to be going. So much stuff that can, like, sidetrack you and make you, you know... I guess it makes from going from point A to point B more tense. But also, oh, yo, look at those hovercrafts from like Diddy Kong Racing. You play Diddy Kong Racing? That game was goaded. So good. One of my favorites, man. I love the N64. It sucks that I can't really play it that much. Uh, cause I just don't have a TV that makes it easy to play it. Um, and emulation's kind of pooey. I don't know, maybe it's gotten better. Maybe emulation has gotten a little bit better for the N64. I just remember last time, which was years ago. That, uh, that does not sound like it works. That the N64 emulation's kind of shitty. The games just run bad. Who knows, it might be better. Maybe there's updates. It has been quite a long time. Oh, you hear that metal streaking? Like, sc scraping and shit? That sounds super dangerous. Dude, fuck that. You see that? So we have our shoe boxes where we can put our extra stuff. We can drop this in there. 
for now. Because we already have one. Um, I don't really care for this charm. Increased resilience against being staggered. I just would rather do the staggering. Uh, I guess we can just drop one of these in here. How does that look? Pretty good, right? Because we're maxed out on it with two. I was thinking of dropping those two uh, arrows too, but we'll keep it. All right. Oops. We got another page. Is this going to tell us that we're going to die? Oh, shit, bro. It's 10. It's a 1005. 1010. Is that late? Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Wait, what? That doesn't sound good. That sounds like a boss fight. Oh, shit. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, Hello? This... Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Bro, this place is Did hella raggedy. It is hella raggedy. Or were they turned into Taken? This is so raggedy. I need to get the key to the trailer park myself. He said it was in the gift shop. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Fresh pot gift shop open 10 a.m.? Oh, pot. Okay. <laughs> like a pot of coffee, dude. I don't know why I thought. Like a fresh pot? Like like the Chiba, you know? The devil's lettuce? This would be locked. fucking locked, wouldn't it? Need something to jimmy it open with. Mm. A list of maintenance work. Hey, look at damn again. What do you say? A screwdriver. Huh. What just happened again? Put the shit back on when you use it. Log maintenance, copper entrance sign to face clean with detergent, wax sign should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Uh, slow roaster pod is stuck, won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40, seems good for now. Fallen tree near Lat Lagoon, probably call the tree guy. Chainsaw to remove several burned out bulbs in the percolator place, order more bulbs. Uh, squeaking late, uh, percolator, what is he? Squeaking on late, I'm starting to bolts. That's bad now. Percolator control panel jammed. Move from the, uh, with screwdriver on a penny in there. So the percolator control panel is jammed. You move the front with a screwdriver. So that means it's at the... That's percolator, right? That's a percolator? Percolator control panel. Okay. So we gotta go to the percolator. Percolator? Percolator? Woo woo. Some fresh pot. What is that stupid shit? Are you high on pot news? Alright. Percolator. This is fucking spooky, dude. I don't know about this. This is awful. I hate it. Coffee world. This place looks like it's been fucking abandoned. I want to look at the espresso, espresso. The well. This is the dwelling place of evil spirit. Oh, it leaves with people that are watery graves. Why would this be at a theme park with the kids? Let's go in there and see what's in there. You fall in there and die? 
Why would this beer scare the shit out of people? Oh, look at this, dude. It's the... You see it? That's the... That's just some freaky deaky shit. The Espresso Express. Wait a minute. This is not where I park my car. Trauma pad. All right. Don't work. I don't know what I expected. I really hope I don't get jumped on the way out of here. Y'all hear that? I like footsteps. And it was not mine. Hmm. Sit there, just dodge to the light. In the darkness. I don't think the darkness can see you at night, right? Whew. All right. This is freaky deaky. I'm not digging it. It's pretty spooky. All right, let's go. Dude, we haven't found batteries in a while, man. Been some time. Mayor Setter. When you ask, Mayor Setter will speak. Man, fuck Mayor Setter. I'm trying to survive, damn it. Yo, them hot dogs are a dollar? What? I want to go to Deer Fest. I mean, Coffee World. Their hot dogs are a dollar. See you, Latte. Oh, my God. You hear it again? I swear I hear footsteps. I'm just mega paranoid. I know this is the exit, but maybe the screwdriver's over here in the booth. Or maybe it's not. It's all this lost, this, this singular lost cat. Let me look at my map. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is where we have to go out. Okay. Point of interest. Is that the well that we just touched? What is this? It's right behind us. Let's go look. I don't know what that is. Is it the hot dog cart? Oh, it's just something you can interact with. Mocha the moose. Oh, yeah, didn't they say the moose died? A moosening mocha facts. Mocha's around six years old. You know, you live for the 25 years. Mocha weighs 820 pounds. You know, the moose is the largest species of deer in the world. What? A moose is considered a deer? Really? Hold on. Let me Google this. What? A moose is a deer? Really? Let me Google this. Yep, it is the largest and heaviest excellent species of deer. Wow, I had no clue. I didn't know a moose. I thought a moose was just a moose. I didn't know a moose was like that. That's crazy. That's no, oh, oh, you learn something every day. What's Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. You know that Mocha is the only known moose to have a caffeine addiction. That's funny. Long long sucks everyone stopped him as he coffee break brewing up some coffee was fine, so the first cup poured the moose appeared. This moose just be drinking coffee? That's funny. I wanna meet the moose. Alright, let's 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 where do we need to go? Let's find this we have to go to the percolator. Find the fucking screwdriver. What is a fucking percolator? What is a percolator? Is that a dance? What is a percolator? You hear that shit? Oh, it's the coffee sign. Okay, I'm paranoid. I'm so paranoid. Percolator. Excuse me. Is this a percolator? Sir, is this the percolator? Oh, hell yeah. This is the percolator. I think. How do I get down there? Ooh, we got arrows. Sweet.
Oh, dude, I was so ready. I saw some move over there. You're about to get shit. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day. Piece of shit. I have a tape, tape recorder taped to the back of it. What an asshole. <laughs> it's like a creepy laugh, too. That's not even like a, oh, I'm having so much fun. Haha, <laughs> it's more like a, I'm gonna kill you in your sleep kind of laugh. What's so fucking funny? Huh? That's what I thought. Shut your goddamn mouth. What, what can I touch over here? This thing? Jack shit up in there. Are you sure that human beings come to this park? How long has this bitch been closed? This is awful. This is terrible. This is this is terrible. This feel this shit feels this, this is like a health hazard. Shut this down. I don't want to hear it. Okay, then. Well, the percolator stop? Yeah, I think they showed this to us in the trailer for this game. Is there's going to be a goon going to pop up there, I think. Once we get in the percolator. There he is. Oh, I'm out of juice. Is there other dude? Oh, my God! Ah! Yeah, fucking fuck him up. <laughs> oh, I thought he exploded. Piece of shit. Hold up, I gotta heal. Fuck. Oh, I guess that saved me, though. That's lame. Well, there goes my coffee mug. Did he die? Well, that sucks. I have noticed you do die pretty quick in this game. I think I got hit three times. Four times. I do know I don't have any more batteries, so that's kind of a problem. There goes the screwdriver. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. Okay. Can I climb up there? No, there's no way to get up there. All right, okay. I wonder how good this crossbow is. I wonder if it's any good, but you only get one shot and I'd be missing, so. So I'm not really too hype about using it. Let's just get back to the gift shop. Sh oh my God. Bro, you hear that? Let's rumble. Oh my god. Ah! Die, you suck your fucking bullet sponge! Ow! Suck on those toes. God damn. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> just nothing? So what happens if I just run out of flashlight like I am now? He just... I just can't fight him? Dude, fuck this shit. Go, 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 go. I don't have battery. Oh, 
Eat my ass. I'm going to the light. Get juked. This is the wrong way, too. I'm just going to the light. Ah, oh, okay. All right, all right. And we used up the, uh, both of our what's it called too when I got grabbed. All right, okay, okay. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I do not have my flashlight. I liked it. I liked it better in Alan Wake One, where like you could boost it to do, you know, to hurt them faster. But as long as you aimed at them, they would slowly take damage from the light, so you can eventually shoot them. But like, nah, like you gotta boost them to break it off of them. And if you don't break it off of them, you can't do anything about it. And that's kind of shit. That's really lame. So. I gotta make a mad break for the for where I need to go because I don't have any any battery. Um, that's not the wrong button. I'm trying to go here. Let's set these to like over here. I guess. Let me look at my map and figure, let me figure out where I need to go first of all. Um, we need to get here to the gift shop. We gotta go. We can't go that way. We can't go to the left because it's blocked. It's blocked with the gate. Um. All right. We're gonna have to just make a run for it. Oh, I forgot that if you shoot, the light goes out. Fuck it. Whatever. It's time to go. Time to go. Fuck you. I'm out, bitches. Quick. Bust that shit open. Bust that shit open. Go. Where is that safe? Let me in. What the fuck? Go in. Boy, that's spicy. You can come up in here? What the fuck? Go away! I can't fight you! That's fucking annoying! Go away! Chew, bitch! Am I gonna have to just die? Here, I'm just gonna interact with stuff and just ignore. I got a manuscript page. Fuck it, maybe she'll go away. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, dude! They didn't give me any fucking batteries! When you were critically hurt? Yeah. Burn an enemy's dark and shoot away to expose. Okay, but okay, I got that part. But how far back did they put me? That's super annoying. I don't have the battery for it. What am I just fucked? We have the screwdriver, right? Yeah. See, hold on. I forgot that it doesn't pause when we do this. I gotta go directly straight. Coffee Express Fresh Pot Gift Shop. The Espresso Express. Oh, that dude still has the the shit from before. That's fine. Here, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break up in here, and then if they come in here, I'm gonna juice them. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? That's annoying. Come on! They fuck off? Really? Oh no, she's coming back. Maybe there's batteries over here. I have to see this thing right here. Batteries, 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 batteries. Yes! Fucking finally! Where are you at? Yeah, you bitch. Ah, 
Hello? We are dirty ass at. You're so fucking annoying. God damn. Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. Boy, that sucked. That was pretty doo doo. what this is all about sorry we're at a bright falls blend and i apologize to the customers i'll just grab some from the back more coffee coming right up she suggested they ride the percolator while they waited she passed ilmo at the espresso express big smile anna coffee world is all smiles anna nodded smiled she smiled until her face hurt anna stopped walking realized she was standing next to the huatari well must have zoned out she thought she was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. She was going on the shaft as she was riding the percolator. More batteries. Convenient. I guess I didn't see that there when I was in here getting railed by what's her name being really fucking annoying. All right, got another. Hey, well, it's got another angry voice from a parent about the kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir of Pucos. Is that Pucos? Whose granddaddy was to sell kids plastic knives on a coffee thing amusement park anyway? All right, it was yours. I need another moose favor because well, doing just fine. You got a, you got a glowing vet report, and then bam, they say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you, but maybe you just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. For telling the kids that Mocha's taking a nap, I'm taking a nap, taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help. Ace have to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? What have any more in stock? What more? <laughs> got more moose in stock? Locked. Okay. Why did you change the what damn password? Use for a code. Why did you change the damn password to save again? I thought it was lookout, fixer, supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Calm down. This one's a tracker, lookout, cleaner. See, no rocket science. Hmm. What does that mean? Let's see. Coffee I mean, fuck world. Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on earth. This place is ass. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Awful, terrible. Absolutely miserable. No mentions three jobs, tracker, lookout, cleaner. Gift shop door is locked. <clears throat> we already looked at the maintenance and log gift. We already did that. I mean, list. I know about using screwdrivers to force the lock open. Okay. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Note mentions three jobs tracker, lookout, and cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. What does that mean? Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Is it something in here? Oh. Our team. 
Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Probably. They were probably the people that was fucking shooting just now. Uh, remember to bring your liability forms Tuesday. Bring your dog to Coffee World Day. The photos have stickers on them. Gradually, Tommy Billy's first year coffee is usually the anniversary of free pack of fresh ground coffee. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Parkers, unfortunately, remains, but where do we fix things possible? Okay. Park walk around. Caregiver. Security. Gift shop. Nina. Janitor. Ride operator. Maintenance. Lost and found. Concession stand. Let's see this. Let me get this straight. Stickers are next to the photos on the staff board. What does it say? Stickers indicate how many years the employees have worked. So that means how many coffee beans is how many years that they've worked, right? So I'm guessing the number means is you find out which which person has which job and then how many years they work there is what it is. Correct the mundo? Is that what that is? Now what was it again? Let's see. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker. Park, walk around? Maybe? And I know cleaner is the janitor. What is it? Tracker, what, and cleaner? Lookout. What would be a lookout? It's a fucking tracker. Lost and found? They keep track? Caregivers a lookout? I don't know. I do know the cleaner is janitor, so we know for a fact the last number is six. Because he's, he's got six stickers on his thing. So we know the last one is six. What is a tracker? Thompson cleans first year coverage is working back here's a free pack of fresh ground coffee. Say tracker. Tracker means you find you find things. Would that be lost and found? I don't know. I keep forgetting what I'm looking for. Maybe I should take a picture of this. Tracker lookout cleaner. So we know cleaner. Lookout. Is security a lookout? Caregiver? Security? Two? Okay, let's try. Let's try lost and found as a tracker because they keep track of stuff. Security is lookout janitor. So let's try one, four, six. Let's try one, four, six. Oh, well, fuck it. There you go. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the cult. Let me out of this bitch. Let me out. Coffee World can go to hell, dude. I'm so... I want to leave. Get Coffee World? What the fuck? How do we go? We just keep going straight? Yeah, when we get out right here. Right next to the Espresso Espresso. Let me out of this bitch. I am donezo with fucking Coffee World. Directly or right. I'm out. Let me out. I am donezo with Coffee World. Thanks for letting me stay, but please, gladly and kindly, just fuck off. <laughs> I never want to go to Coffee World again. Oh. The trailer park's that way. What's over there? Nothing. Oh, I guess it leads us into whatever this area is. Watery lighthouse. Let's just go to the... Let's just go to the uh, trailer. Trailer park's this way. Is it this way? It's over here. Flora, mate. What does that say? Where 
workshop? Yeah. This is to the trailer house. Trailer park. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Well, you know what? We might have to see who that cultist is later because I just realized that we're going we're going over time. I like to keep these videos at an hour and thirty minutes. At least I know where to go, and we got we did all of Coffee World, so we know that we need to go straight into the lighthouse trailer park. Um, so I'm gonna save right here. Oh boy, dude, running running out of out of battery is just you're just useless. Like you can't fight at all. Um, that's pretty ass. Let me get my other. Oops. See, I low-key want to save these coffee mug charms for boss fights. But yeah, dude, you run out of batteries. You can't do shit. You can't do nothing. Because, like, tactically, if you look in the bottom right corner, there's four bars. That means that's four kills if you are fighting four enemies per battery. But then sometimes when you boost them, I don't know if maybe I'm doing it wrong, but sometimes when I boost them, I, I have to boost them, like, one and a half times. I guess I'm just too far away or something, I guess. I don't know. But that was pretty, that was kind of butt, getting uh, stuck on that part. Not having any batteries, but we looked around for a little bit and found some batteries. All right, it's 2.30 in the morning, boys. So uh, thank you for checking out the Alan Wake stuff for the people that are watching, and I hope you're enjoying it. It's pretty crazy. This game's wild. It is wild, and there's a lot of weird shit going on, but I do like it. So thank you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I am going to go and get this ready for you guys to watch tomorrow and take me a shower and get me some tea and vibe out because uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. So I'm just going to big chill and do all that. Like I said before, um, I'm uh, going to be gone this weekend. So uh, I'm going to try to do some Spider-Man and have it up uh, by Friday. I'll try. I might not be able to because I have to pack and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to do it tomorrow and then I'll upload it before I leave and then just make it available for you guys on the weekend or something. But thanks for big chilling. I appreciate all of you. I hope you all have a beautiful morning, a great day, an awesome afternoon, and an amazing night. If it is your birthday, you dastardly devil, happy birthday to you. And if it is your birthday, you gorgeous gal, happy birthday to you too. <clears throat> and I'll see you guys next time. Homie smooches and uh, bye.